my responsibility. Dallas. Air slap. <laughs> it was around his head where his guard was the weakest. You're the one who created the opening for me. And it hey. I didn't notice his tears blasted him through the earth. The boy born with everything. Is that going to be uh, Todoroki? So, you brought me here. Oh yeah, this this little private one-on-one. -on -one. He's all cold intimidation. I bet he's going to like from vent his heart out right now. I was overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah. I was the only one who could sense your true power. It reminded me of something. Experiencing All Might's quirk. Very observant. Very sharp. Is that all? No. I'm saying the power coming from you felt the same as All Might's. <laughs> it's just a matter of time, honestly. Are you really All Might's secret love child or something? <laughs> no. What do you say in this situation? I get why you'd think that. He's getting too it's close. As it sounds. He's sniffing around. My father is the hero Endeavor. You must have heard of him. Which means you're aware that he's the number two hero. Number two, huh? I saw you and figured I'd say hi. Did you now? Well then, if that's all you wanted to do, we're done. Lots of parallels here. Ten years, huh? <laughs> Come on, why the cold shoulder? You're all flash and no brains as usual. Out of mm. my way. Mm. That kid of mine will beat you someday. I'll make sure of it. That's why I made him. Made him? But he will take your place. Nah. Nah, he's gonna be better than his old man. That's a really quick way to lose someone, to put all of your own baggage on them. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I think that there's no, like, right or wrong method with dealing with people, or with teaching, let's say. What I mean by that is you can be kind, you know, you can be soft. You could also be really tough, you can be really disciplined. I think what matters is the intent behind it, because people are really smart. Like, we know what people are after, ultimately. Even if we don't know it that concretely, we can feel it on some level. And when you're trying to make someone fix the ways that you feel like you have failed, it's obvious to the recipient on some level that you have no regard for them. You end up feeling like tools, and I don't think anyone reacts well to that. And it's sort of weak to expect somebody, especially your own children, to do things that you yourself can't do. That would be the heroic thing, you know, to do it yourself. But I think that Endeavor is going wrong in a whole bunch of ways. I imagine that he has a certain image of what a hero should be. He has a certain set of values. And in some way, he's missing something. He's missing something, or he doesn't have something All Might has. So All Might will be more successful, but that fact will drive him crazy because it would be too difficult to accept that he's wrong at this point. Like, obviously, he's, he's not really the deep introspective type. You can almost always tell who's better or who's winning in a conflict by who cares the least. All Might, unsurprisingly, doesn't seem to hold any grudges. In this situation, All Might will be able to move on and enjoy his lunch. Endeavor won't even taste his food. My old man is ambitious. He aims for the Oh, top. oh is he? <laughs> he used his power to make a name for himself as a hero. But he was never able to best All Might, so the symbol of peace is living proof of his failure. What a way to live. The focus is all wrong. All wrong. He's misaligned, value-wise. Have you ever heard of quirk marriages? Quirk They became a problem in the marriages. first few generations after <gasps> Whoa. superpowers became widespread. There were like eugenics? Potential mates solely with the intention wow. Of powerful children. Well, this is dark. He bought my mother's relatives to get his hands on her quirk. And now he's Whoa. raising me to usurp all might. This is all wrong. <laughs> There's all types of wrong. This is a big confession. I remember she called my left side unbearable before she poured boiling water on my face. Whoa, what is going on? <laughs> this is I'm going to show him that I reject his power and I can take first place without using it. Baka goes listening to. Oh no. The life he's led is so different than mine. Um, yeah, yes, Deku. He's like a comic book character. <laughs> okay. A hero with a tragic backstory fighting to rise above it. But this time, his mother burned him. <laughs> Weird. Weird. Well, that got dark real quick. Todoroki has a long and interesting journey ahead of him. But, you know, my feeling about this is always going to be the same, this kind of thing. Where it's like, as long as your motivation is formed in opposition to something, you're not really free. You're still sort of living under their tyranny, you know? Like, if Todoroki's goal is to spite his father, he's still under his father's thumb. It's sort of weird in his case, like, he seems kind of all over the place. He obviously cares about what his father thinks. Anything like this, you're always walking a fine line between love and hate. It's like in those moments where you, you express your hate to someone, 
someone and tell them all the horrible things they've done to you, really on some level what you're looking for is, is an apology and reconciliation, which means you're still entwined with that person. I think a healthier goal long term is to acknowledge the effects it had and then sort of put that down and live freely as you would like to live, which could include any number of things. It could include using whatever power he wants. It's there. So instead of fighting it, you just make the most of what that is and you use it for what you would like to use it for. It just feels better to me to think about like harmonizing all those elements. I feel like that's the only true way to, to autonomy or separation in that way, in the way Todoroki is looking for. I'm only here because others have supported me. I've been really lucky. In fact, I've had even more help since I've come to UA. I love how grateful Deku is. I feel like this, this is gonna be really important, this way of thinking. I can't lose this either. I owe it to everyone who supported me to try my best. You declared war on me earlier. Well, right back at you. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised by this, to be honest. I am going to beat you. <laughs> what does Bakugo think about all this, I wonder? <laughs> I could see Bakugo going a number of different ways, like having leverage. But I feel like I'm a little more optimistic about that. I feel like it was maybe good for him to hear that. I kind of expected Deku to ingratiate himself with Todoroki a little more. Like, I'm not your enemy or something like that. But I don't know. It goes back to what I was saying about how like the intent is really important. It's not really the approach. It's like the feeling behind it. And I think that that's not animosity. That's just doing his best. And his energy there felt good. It's like, I'm going to do what I think is best and I'm going to do my best just as you are yours. And I think that actually might be a gift in some ways to Todoroki. You know, like pity wouldn't wouldn't be the answer. That's not what Todoroki wants. And sometimes I feel like the best thing you could do for other people is not trying to help them by intervening in their lives or even by knowing or being involved in their lives at all, but actually by backing off and making sure that you are strong. Because one person's strength creates an environment of strength for other people to lean on. Whereas sometimes trying to help people and going going down the road of their emotions, you end up way deeper down that road than you wanted or intended. It reinforces it in a way. So kind of a cool answer from Deku. It feels strong. And also is an interesting point on that spectrum that was concerned for All Might, where he was saying that Deku is really compassionate, but does he have the strength to try to be number one? Deku is sort of showing some backbone there. Since this is a sports festival, we prepared some super fun side games everyone can participate in. Loser's bracket. We even brought in cheerleaders from America to get your blood pumping. Cheerleaders from America? Is that what he just said? Invisible girl. <laughs> so Minato was the champion after all. This is the first I'm hearing about it. Are you sure? You don't have to believe me if you want to get in trouble. If only he put half as much energy into winning tournaments as he did being creepy. Well, we do have a little time before the final <laughs> She's having fun. I feel like Invisible Girl just, you know, what she really wants is attention. She wants to be seen. Who do I root for now that Minuto's out? What we're made of. Excuse me. Sorry, but I'm withdrawing. <laughs> Why? I barely remember anything from the cavalry battle until the very end of it. I think it was that guy's quirk. Wait, who was Ojiro with again? Tetsu Tetsu? Oh no. Mind control? Quirk? Don't want to advance if I don't even know how I got here. It wouldn't be fair. I feel like that the power crosses a weird line. Also, why are all the girls dressed like cheerleaders? <laughs> Mirengeki Shoda from Class 1B? I think I should withdraw for the exact same reason. Did Calendar Man make it? We'll have to see what Midnight has to say about all this. She's the one in charge. She is? <laughs> God, I was talking about the economy. The real nightmare is the legal system. How do you legislate quirks without discriminating? That being said, I don't really see why they have to resign. I mean, I understand what they're saying, but that's probably true in any number of cases that are team oriented. It might be different if you resigning meant someone else took your place, but I don't think that's the case. It just seems like there will be fewer contestants, you know, but teach their own. Let your conscience be your guide and all that. This sort of talk is incredibly naive, my boys. That turns me on. Oh, no. <laughs> She did. We all heard it. I'll win it for you. Now let's see. We'll have to move up two students from the fifth place cavalry team so we have enough contestants. Oh, people do take their place. Okay. Does this mean Mineto? Team Tetsu Tetsu. N Kendo! I'm not doing this as a favor. It's just fair. Oh, that's Tetsu Tetsu. I got it confused. Okay, I get it. Good. That's all that I ask. That's a good matchup. Mashari. I'm afraid it's the end of the road. How are you still here? <laughs> so it's the final round, but that's multiple rounds of a 
tournament in bracket style. I have to worry about this Shinso guy. That is you, right? Shinso. He's the mind control dude. Little creepy. Little creepy. So you excited? Uh, yeah. Not so fast. <laughs> what does he steal your soul through your mouth? You must advance, Midoriya, so I can beat you with one hand. So much for a finale showdown. Who the hell's that? Oh no! I sympathize though, I sympathize. Oh, that's perfect! I have something nice for you! Some babies, I'm guessing. See, they're getting into it. They're actually taking these dumb side games seriously? As usual, those Class 1A idiots really need to get their priorities in Mama, check. Mama! If you're not playing, come with me! Okay. <laughs> I guess I really have only been getting by because of luck and my friends helping me out. And your wits. All I want to hear you say is that you'll do your best, damn it! There's no <laughs> such thing as luck. You're never gonna become the hero you want if you believe in something like that. This is one of those rare moments where I feel like the truth doesn't matter. Like, luck is definitely a thing. You know, it's just circumstance that you can't predict. But as far as just having a philosophy for action is concerned, I almost think it's better just not to believe in it at all. Or to act as if it's not a thing. To act as if things are actually in our control. You know, there are things you can influence and things you can't. But believing you can improve things puts you in a situation where you have a chance to actually improve things. Whereas believing something is too difficult or not possible sometimes leaves with you ending on the sidelines when maybe you could have improved things. Maybe things could have gotten better if you were just like taking them into your own hands, you know? I think things have a way of getting better and easier if you just accept responsibility for what happens. The one mistake to avoid is taking that too far where it's blame, where you blame yourself for everything bad that happens. I think things can be your responsibility, but also not be your fault, if that makes sense. Your responsibility is to do your best and to take action in ways you, you think are beneficial, like All Might said. And also in this case, Deku happens to be wrong. Like it's not just luck, clearly. It's his wits and his drive and his dedication. So here's the actual tournament, the World Martial Arts Tournament. Bring on the injuries. So put your morals aside and don't <laughs> this commentary is great. But I just think he's an idiot for throwing away his chance like that. Uh, Seems like he's taunting him on purpose. Luring him in. He got him to talk. I win. Wait, what is going on here? This is bizarre. What could this power be? He steals your abilities? through your words. I feel like there are some metaphors there, but I'll wait to see. Though this guy does seem really smart. He sees right through Deku. Got right in his head. Ah, I warned him not to say anything. You did warn him. He didn't listen. Damn it. <laughs> Do -do -do Wait, but what is his power exactly? I'm guessing it's not just freezing. It's gotta be some kind of control as well. Is he gonna make Deku like punch himself in the face? That'd be amazing. Are we gonna get into like a why are you hitting yourself type situation? But all quirks have a trade-off or a weakness. Maybe there's a way out for Deku. Deku has to win because he has to face Todoroki. Who's he gonna face in the final round, I wonder? Bakugo maybe. But this episode dropped a whole lot. The Todoroki reveal is kinda, kinda crazy. I'm sort of wondering if there isn't more to it. Is that the full story? The background that he explained with his mother and father? Last episode I was saying like, well, I don't think that Endeavor can be all that that bad, right? But maybe he can be. Honestly, he can't be that good if his motivation is taking down All Might. I mean, that's a very unheroic thing to have all your focus be on other heroes who are doing good. But it does create a really interesting path for Todoroki and a lot to deal with. And also, it makes him seem somewhat better. Like, he's dealing with a lot. He's a teenager. He's confused. But my feeling about him now is that he has a kindness. He's not mean. He's not after Deku because he dislikes Deku. He cares deeply about his mother. He probably cares about his father on some level. He's just a nice kid who's like trying to power his way through things, which all things considered, I think is a good thing. He could just like shrivel up in a ball and give up and be in despair. But no, he has a plan of action. He's working hard to become stronger. He's not unkind. He's just very competitive, which is fine. Like I said, I think the strength is a gift to people. So for me, it was a positive episode for his character. Also, even though it was surprising to me, I like the way Deku handled it, where he sort of matched Todoroki's strength with his strength of his own. And then Bakugo hearing, I want to believe that that will be a good thing. I want to believe that that, that adds to Bakugo's understanding rather than him seeing that as like a tool, you know? So yeah, now we head into the final round of the tournament, as they call it, which is the actual tournament, right? The actual fighting tournament. So I'll see you next time when Deku undoubtedly finds a way out of this speech stealing thing.